You know, when life teaches you a hard lesson, he's the guy you want in your corner. Just ask his sister. So, uh, you can stay here as long as you want. Uh, there are some ground rules, though. I told Lisa you get a job soon, so get a job soon. Make the probation officer happy, too. Going job hunting tomorrow. Good. If you're hungry, there's stuff up in the fridge. Have at it. Um, <clears throat> Matt brought by most of your things, so you should be good there, too. Huh. How's he doing? You know. Oh, you know, joining us from the cast of A Teacher, please welcome actor Adam David Thompson. Thank you. <laughs> Happy, what's today, Tuesday? Happy Tuesday to know. you, sir. And I forgot what day it is. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so apparently, like, your fans, the fans who haven't watched the show are in trouble because you're going to arrest them. That's what you said. But your sister seems to be in even more trouble on this show, which Kaleida calls the most daring show of 2020. Yeah. It, I, I would agree. I mean, I think that the show is doing things that um, really no other show has, has done. Um, and I think that, you know, the way that it's being released uh, on, a, on a weekly basis gives the audience kind of time to sit and deal with what just happened. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one to watch. It is. That's even the trailer. It's not even a horror show. Like, but even watching the trailer, my heart was like, boom, boom, boom. I was like, I cannot handle this, so you might as well arrest me unless you can, <laughs> like, really tell me that nothing's going to go wrong, like, to my heart. But you can't do that, can you? No, no, I can't. Mm. Man! Adam, mm -mm. Like, I, I was telling you earlier when we were, like, before the break that you are just, like, one of the biggest chameleons, like, the best actors I've seen because you were able to transform whether you're playing a vampire or you're playing alongside <laughs> some of the greatest actors, like, known to man. I'm talking about your, your performance in Glass, by the way. So, like, how much fun is this for you? Like, having to play different characters and sometimes having to, you know, lose your facial hair that we, we're kind of loving right now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's 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 fun. You know, I'm kind of built in in a uh, in an interesting way to be able to go from being a vampire to being a cop. Um, you know, it's it's something that um, has taken me this far, and I hope it takes me even further. You know, well, we know it will. And by the way, there's a method to my madness because I mentioned your facial hair for a reason because I know you had to, you know chop it all off for your vampire role. And I also know yeah. what you tend to do when you're not playing a vampire, like on the side. Dave, hit it. And I hope you have all you dreamed of. And I wish you joy and happiness. But above all this, that I takes some you serious Serious, serious <laughs> talent to be able to pull that off. Hey, you know, it was it was crazy the coincidence that I was just in the transpo van, that song came on. Um, and when you look like I did, I mean, those nails and that hair, oh, you gotta work some Whitney, you know? Um, luckily, the, the driver had just left, so I was alone. <laughs> and if you played all the way to the end of that video, you hear them open the door and me quickly turn my phone off. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> really? It's, I just love the nail part. And also, like, in case anyone here needs help with, like, carpentry and stuff, he's the man for you. Because apparently, you got more, like, a lot more skills than acting. So are we gonna be seeing, like, maybe a furniture line from you? Yeah, I, I hope, um, you know, I'm I'm building and I'm designing and, um, you know, it's something that I've been able to do throughout the pandemic, which has been, you know, kind of nice and uh, hopefully, you know, start to sell this stuff and create my own furniture line, which would be pretty awesome. All right. So, you know, like, I'm just going to take credit for it, by the way, because I like kind of pushed you to even, you know. Like, this is me taking credit. By the way, can we clarify that what you're building and selling is not the biceps and the triceps, that it's actually furniture? Because in that picture, we see mostly buffness. I, I so just want to like, clarify. I feel like it's... No, I feel like it's a whole package. You know what I mean? When you're buying the furniture, you're buying the whole thing. All right, then. So now, that's, that, that's a selling point. So who, yeah. what, like, what specifically do you build? So because in case John, Betty, Ben, Marisol want to place orders now, can we place, like, pre-orders? Because we know you. 
Right. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm basically doing a lot of mid-century modern, so I've been studying a lot of the the Eames's yeah. stuff and um and kind of simplifying it and making it even more bare bones. So like even more plywood and uh, using a lot of cement and concrete and things like that as well. So I just, I, I love when industrial meets mid-century modern and back and forth. So that's kind of what I've been creating. All right, so you guys, you wanna place your orders now? Yeah. What would you guys like to ask um, we, him for? We would like to order a love seat. <laughs> a very lo what? Just one. A, a, a very yeah. tight and cozy love seat. Betty what? loves wants a love seat. <laughs> did you did you build what's behind you right now? That's that's wood. That's some wood thing. I did. I I built this. Yes. Oh I nice. Did. That huh. looks like a house. I, I thought mean, that was a an actual house. You just, you, it's a wall. It, it, it <laughs> kind of it kind of looks like a um, a photo booth at like a barn wedding. That's nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Rustic modern. Um, I'll take it, an Eames it's, chair it's, and a headboard. Ooh, yeah. It's my it's my bedroom. It's my bedroom wall. I want an Ames chair um, too. Good call. Yeah. My so, wife requested this, and I built it. <laughs> She's and got built good very taste. Very nice. But you know who else is a handsome carpenter? By the way, I found out is the dude who played Jake in Sixteen Candles is a carpenter is for the he last really? like twenty years. Huh. So if you call this carpenter company, Jake walks in. No yeah, but Adam's our favorite carpenter. I know, but you guys should, like, they could be like a handsome Obviously. carpenter, a handsome carpenter <laughs> company thing. Yeah, yeah, but, but you know, yeah. I'm calling on Adam first for my orders. Thank you so much, Adam. You're <laughs> the bestest you. of all Adam. times. In front of the camera, behind the camera. That's right. You know, working on your carpentry, his FX series, A Teacher, is currently streaming on Hulu, so check it out. I believe they have new episodes Tuesdays. What's today? Tuesday? Oh, my. Hello. Okay. Check it out. <laughs>